Hey guys, this is Mr. Pibs here, or Pibbler, whatever, copyright, yeah, you get the point, one day I'm actually gonna get in trouble for that, whatever. Today, I just wanted to do another uh, tank inspector first look, and uh, I have a picture of an IS-6 open because we are doing the IS-5, yes, IS-5. Uh, this is uh, tank before the IS-6, of course, uh, number sequence, IS-1, or IS, IS-2, IS-3, etc. But, <clears throat> I've just been up to IS-6 because it is a tier 8 prim, and it is a super test tank, so please take regard that the tank can completely change from what it is. It, it could have a 76, for all I know, when it comes out. Not that it's gonna, because it's gonna be tier 8, but just saying. So I bought up an IS-6, just to compare the armor real quick. Uh, which is go flat on. 160 and uh, about 330 and off to ricochet in angling. Again, 170 about, and we can share on the sides, and it's hurt. Weak on the weak on the sides, of course, but angled or slipped. So there's the IS-6 has the D30 with its classical awful rate of fire. Um, where is it? Rate of uh, rate of fire, uh, 5.3. I know that can get a little higher with uh, fully uh, gun rammer. I never use gun rammer on mine though. So let's look at the IS-5. Now, please take a look. There is a lot of tanks that aren't actually in the game, such as T-44-122, T-44-122, T-54 first, prototype, uh, ISC-130, really interested in that, and the IS-5. So let's take a look. So here it is. It has its classical log, which is actually, look at that. Look at just look at that log, it's honestly really good looking. There you go. This is the zoom. So, now back to the tank. Uh, first impression of the tank, it's it's an IS-8. Uh, let's pull up the IS-8 right here. Just, just look at this. Look at the difference, it's the same hole. And the description uh, says it's even under the designation of the IS-8. So the development of the vehicle was started in 1949 by Desin Brew of Chilibisk, Kura of Plants under the supervision of Do Joseph Coton. I prefer if it's Joseph Scotton. Get it? Oh, okay. 1950 reproduction batch of 10 vehicles were launched. After the vehicle underwent all trials and received upgrade, it was adopted for service in 1953 under the de designation of IS-8. So what this tank is, is... This was a uh, development of the. This is like the first variant of the IS-8. This tank evolved. Let's think of it like this: IS-6 was uh, just a prototype with an automatic transmission, so it was easier to drive and just use in combat. The IS-8 was the final variant, and of course it has its log. Was the final variant of the IS-5. So there's that. Uh, let's go back because that's tier eight or tier nine. I mean. So here's a tank. This it so it's on, it only has a APCR as its main mode. Um, was that heat or uh, yeah heat and then HE. Now this is very interesting because heat on heavy tanks is is really only used on uh, Chinese. Oh wait. Oh sorry meds. It's the meds that use it. Hmm, I dipping out here. Whatever. I might be thinking something else. I'm kind of tired. It's kind of late, guys. I just want to make a quick video. Whoa. So, here's our IS-5 in all its glory. Object 730. Um, IS-6 is object 262, is it? Or am I completely off? Object 701. Okay. I'm just thinking of a replace. They call them differently. So, here's a tank. As you can see, it's very nicely structured. Let's pull up the little zoom thing. You can just see the detail at work. Looking at all the tracks, the suspension work. It's great. So, yes. And then, of course, it's rifle. But, anyways, let's go over the armor. Let's pull up the little armor thing. 200. It's an IS 8. Way better. Of course, you can't angle this because, you know, if you angle it, it has a flat side and armor is less effective. So, you have to keep this front on, which is a problem because there's no auto ricochet except in the turret, which is, well, Two, two separate meshes right here, and then other meshes up here. This this hurts a bit. I'd hit in that regard, but it's extremely well armor, as you can see. And the guns are uh, square. 
a rectangle. Okay. Let's go over the gun. Oh, no. D25 TA. Yeah, it's actually better than most D25s. That's 221 pen. But, of course, this is only uh, super test. So, let's go over this. Ratify, 4.9. Slightly worse than the i6, but has much higher pen. The i6 only has 175, so that's a little overpowered, in my opinion, for especially for a premium. Oh well, especially because in armor, it's like it's an i6. I and also the power. Just look at the power. Look at this 42 kilometers. I don't actually know how fast it gets. So that only has a it has a 14 specific power. I was gonna say only, but that's actually pretty good for a heavy. So, let's go back to the gun now. Reload time, 12 seconds. This is where I've had a gun ammo. Let me attach one of those. There we go. With that, 10 seconds. <laughs> where if I go to 5.5. I, don't, I don't recommend using gun ammo on IS-6. I would actually not use the gun ammo on this tank. I would just uh, do vertical gun stabilizer. But this tank is even out yet, so it's not really a big deal. So let's go to the survivability. Oh, sorry. Accuracy. My bad. Uh, elevation. 17, depression, 5, pretty crap, it's Russian, and elevation, it's actually almost Chinese, whoops, my bad, so, let's go back, got traverse speed 26, not bad, so, speed limit's 42, forward, it's 14 reverse, as I said, very fast, and here's the stats for the health, tank itself, 1550, so, that's pretty good, here's the actual armor thickness, just pause and read that if you want. His uh, tank price, it would cost 12,000 gold. Shell price, 13. I don't, I think that's, yeah, it's gold. Let me attach my, there we go, APCR. Shell cost, 1,000 uh, credits. Not bad. It's APCR. Of course, this is a non-premium uh, non -premium APCR. The ones that the Japanese use it. There you go. Okay, battle tiers, I can see the tier 10. That's why it has this gun. It's weird, because it's like a D25, just like upgrade D D25T. So, there's a tank. I just want to show off this video, because um, I'm just doing tanks that people have been talking about a lot. And it, my last video got a lot of views, although I did post it on the forums. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.